Hi guys, as you guys already know, I've been having trouble with my snail shells deteriorating and I put a cuttlefish bone in there last week, but they haven't really touched it. So I'm going to try this new snail jello recipe in the hopes that it'll help them to regrow their shells. So let's get started. So here are the things you're going to need and you can get most of these at your local grocery store. The first thing is the Knox Original Gelatin Unflavored. This little box is about a dollar and comes with four envelopes. You're only going to need one and a half of the envelopes so I have two out and ready. The next thing you're going to need are the Tums. I bought the Berry Flavor in the Ultra Strength 1000. The recipe says to use 10 to 12 of the 750 tablets, so if you calculate that out, it's equivalent to about 8 to 9 of these tablets. So I have 9 tablets right here. It also calls for the algae thins or algae wafers, but it doesn't say how many to use. So I'm just going to experiment and start with 10 little algae thins for this batch. Oh, thank you, Addy. <laughs> My niece just drew me the cutest little picture. Anyway. Um, then you're going to need some baby food. So go into the baby aisle and grab um, a little 4 ounce jar of baby food that's high in calcium. The two that I found that had the highest amount of calcium were this organic corn and butternut squash and the green beans. So you only have to use one of these, but I bought two just in case I wanted to make another batch. Then you're going to need some sort of bowl to crush the wafers and the tums in. Obviously you'll need something to crush the tablets with. So I don't have a grinder or a rolling pin, so I'm just going to use this wine opener that I found. And if that doesn't work, then I will use the end of this peeler. Then you'll need something to put the jello in once you're done. And I'm just going to use a, you know, Tupperware. But you can use ice cube trays or whatever you want to put it in. Okay, this is my first time making these snail jellos for my snails, so it's going to be a hit or miss. I put one into the tank a couple of hours ago, and the shrimp are already kind of grazing on it, but the snails haven't really touched them at all. So I guess I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any questions, please comment below, and if you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!
So this is my niece Addie and she's helping me to make the snail food. What do you think that looks like Addie? Snail food. It looks like snail food. Do you think it's yummy for the snails? Yeah. Yeah. Is it ready yet? No. No? Not yet? Is it ready now? Not yet. Not yet? When will it be ready? What? When will it be ready? When the alarm rings. When the what? When the alarm rings. Okay. Whose picture is that for? Snail. The snail? Can you tell me about it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because it's beautiful? Is it a flower? Do snails like flowers? Yeah. Butterfly milk. Butterfly milk? No, no, you remember? Audrey said um, her trees smell like butterfly milk. Oh, really? Bless you.